Hey there, everybody. In this video, we are going to talk about the four steps that you need to create campaigns that are going to scale. So it doesn't matter if you're running campaigns on Facebook or Google ads or whatever it is that you're running your ads on, it doesn't matter. But by the end of this video, you're going to be able to understand exactly what steps you need to take to make sure that your campaigns are set up for success so that you can scale them. It's going to help you to reduce the waste that you spend as well. So if you have a limited budget like most businesses do, this is going to be a really helpful video. Let's get into it. Hey there, my name is Brandon Brashears. I create daily marketing videos. So if you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, this is a great place for you. Be sure to subscribe. I also vlog about creating my agency and the software product that I'm launching here. So anyways, if you're looking to grow your brand or your business, be sure to subscribe. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you have any questions, comments, or need help with anything, please comment below. I'm happy to answer questions and respond directly. All right, let's talk about your ads. So I was talking with a client and it made me think about this specific topic and objective which is, okay, so we're getting great results so far with the ads that we're running, but what should we do next? Should we increase our budget? Should we add you know, additional keywords? It was a specifically a Google campaign that we were running. And so it's, it's a common question, especially if you start out with a smaller budget, you might say, okay, this is going great. I want to scale this and increase my ad spend and things. But really, what should you do when it comes to your ads? So I think there's actually four steps that you need to take in order to scale your ad sets. So the first thing is that we obviously start with a test. We don't know until we actually test something on how well it's going to work. Whether we're testing different ad creatives or we're testing different markets or targeting or different audiences, we need to figure out what is the test that we're going for. So I'm gonna give you the example of the client that I was talking with. It was a local business. We were doing ER vet based there, an emergency vet. So 24 seven clinic. It's very different than an average animal clinic because they only do emergency, right? So it's very niche people that need somebody right now, which lends itself really well to AdWords. So we were doing well with AdWords, but it was like, what should the next steps be? So we'd been running ads for about a month. So we were testing these different keywords, these different um, ads, these different match types for the ads, different audiences, different call extensions, different objectives like that and we're able to see what works. So now that we understand what's working and what's not working, we're cutting off all the fat and the things that aren't working, the next step is for us to confirm that test. So we need to make sure that in, in fact, we have enough data, we have enough conversions to say, yep, this is the specific winner. These ad types are working better. These types of phrases are converting better. And for the objectives that we have set up for the campaign, this is the ideal thing that we're, we're trying to do. It's been great because right out of the gate, we've been successful as far as additional clients and additional revenue and things, but we wanna make sure that we are on track, that we're not applying um, you know, poor judgment on the campaigns or bringing our own judgments into the, into the situation. But what is the data actually telling us? And is this data the right, the right data that we should be focusing on? And then confirm all of the tests that we are saying are working. So once we have the test, we confirm that test. And then what we do is we work on scaling that campaign. So once we are scaling the campaign, the thing that we'd like to do kind of before that scaling is to optimize the campaign. Uh, so part of the optimization process is going to be cutting off all the fat, making sure that we know which keywords are actually producing results, make sure that our tracking is set up. Um, is there anything that we can do or anything that we see that's working better? Are there certain days of the week that are working better, certain times of the day? How can we really get the most out of what we're doing? And then once we have that set up, we need to make sure that there is room for scaling. Sometimes, especially for local markets, there is just a certain cap of demand for what we have, right? So if we try to get 100% of that market share, it's gonna be very expensive. So we need to make sure that the campaigns are optimized so that we are getting the most bang for our buck. Because if we have you know, specific searches that are, that are working great, but if we go to that 100%, it might get very expensive just because we're, we're starting to get into weird situations where we're applying for or engaging in auctions that are, are more expensive, right? There's tons of things that happen once you start to scale up your ad spend that makes it difficult to scale in like a linear model where you just have you know the same costs go up per impressions. Typically, when you start to reach market share of you know, hitting all of the impressions and 
um, showing up in every single auction, it starts to get pretty dang expensive and it become, becomes exponentially more expensive. So we want to hit the right spot as far as where's the market demand and, you know, where are the, um, basically the, the spot that gives you poor returns, right? The, the spot of diminishing returns is the word I was looking for. So where's that diminishing returns? And then be sure to go right up to that point and monitor it. So that is the optimization that needs to happen before. And then once you have everything set up, you start to bump up the budget and you start to increase that budget and then you monitor it. As much as we would like digital marketing to be a static thing that you set it up one time and then it's good to go, that's not how it works. You always have new competitors jumping into the space. You have different um, types of ads that come up. You have different rules that get put applied for ads. You know, more text is added. Um, and you'll see uh, over time just things change. So you need to constantly be measuring, monitoring, and evaluating your campaigns. I think too it's really important that you continue to test as time goes on. So now that you have a winning campaign, especially you'll find typically that your campaigns, you know, specific keywords of those campaigns do the really heavy lifting of that campaign. So finding those golden keywords kind of is very, very helpful but then adding on additional keywords or additional angles, you know? So for example, right now in that, that veterinary practice, that's an emergency vet right now, we're doing emergency vet searches and that makes sense, right? People looking for emergency vets or 24 seven vets or things like that. We've also added on people that are doing normal kind of veterinary searches, but they're doing them after hours. So all of the competition is closed, but they're still looking for somebody that's also pro proven, you know, pretty helpful. We can continue to add on, you know, like services and searches that are related to dogs and to cats and things like that, right? So I'm just trying to give you some ideas of what you can do. You can expand it and constantly be testing it. If you have certain results that start to produce better, lower cost per lead um, activity, then you might as well, you know, scale those up too. It's really about finding what's working best for your business, coming up with creative solutions to do that, and ultimately testing and measuring everything. So it's very, very important you have everything set up before you start your campaigns. I hope that this makes sense. If you have any questions, be sure to comment down below. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. I make daily digital marketing videos here, even on Sundays. So if you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.